the tundra has seen better days unfortunately we ran into a little mishap let's walk outside this is not how you want to start your weekend out with a neighbor knocking on your door at nine o'clock on a friday night saying i backed into your truck i know i have backup sensors and a camera but i backed into your truck look pushed it right into the tire the vinyl wrapped corner that i did a video on it took forever to do will need to be rewrapped the fog lights that i did a video on they seem to be okay i mean the bez the bezel piece is damaged but i think the fog light might be okay the grill a lot of this was part of my chrome delete video tab might be broken i know this is probably cracked or busted at least needs paint this sucks just as you think you're almost done with something and you're happy with the way it is stuff like this happens well in order to drive it i have to rip off some parts so that's what we're doing i couldn't pry it back away from the tire so i just popped off the cover and trying to get this corner piece off but everything's all mangled and munched in here so it's not easy but we're getting there all right got the corner pieces off this is not a good look at least it won't rub yes i know what you're thinking now would be a great time to upgrade the front bumper on the tundra with something different something beefier pre-runner bumper something with the wench something cool but i have a better idea i was lucky enough to find somebody on socal tundra's facebook page that was willing to give me a stock bumper for free that had been sitting in his backyard for years so we're gonna put the stock bumper back on it and keep the money put that towards Subaru stuff because two other cars really need my love right now. So I've found out the easiest way to do it is not to remove each corner at a time and then the front piece, but it's to remove the entire front bumper all in one piece. And to do that, you're first gonna remove the grill. There's just a couple screws on top, little 10 millimeters that you're gonna undo. You're gonna pull the grill forward. Be careful not to break any of the clips. And once you remove the grill, you will be able to get to the little painted wings that go under the front headlights. There's two screws holding those on the inside of the fender, and then there's a couple clips behind where the grill used to be, and then those little wing valance pieces will pop forward. You do have to remove the front mud flap that's in front of the front tire attached to the bumper if you haven't already done that. If your truck has lifted oversized tires, you probably did. Once those mud flaps are out of the way, there's a couple screws that hold the bottom of the bumper to the skid plate. Just undo those. There's a couple of 12 millimeter bolts on each side of the bumper at the corners where mine are chrome that looking down from the top that you're going to want to remove and you're also going to disconnect the fog lights and the little harness that attaches to the bracket and then the whole bumper cover centerpiece and both corners will pull forward and off don't forget a couple of the screws from underneath the truck looking up you will see there's a couple of the bolts and nuts holding on the corner of each side left and right once the bumper is removed i needed to remove the front crash bar 17 millimeter socket on an extension zap those off real quick and here is where i actually save some money i wanted to space the bumper out a little bit more to give my tires a little bit more clearance i did not want to go buy a hundred dollar spacer so i did the cheapest way possible went down to the hardware store bought some bolts that slide right over the studs behind the crash bar and that actually spaces the bumper out about half an inch three quarters of an inch or so this will give the tires a little bit more clearance especially turning lock to lock backing up the 35s do rub a little bit on the front of the corner piece of the bumper so just bringing the bumper forward a little bit these bolts are you know less than a few dollars for all of them and a lot cheaper than the hundred dollar spacer and i think it's just as solid and just as safe to use just my opinion of course
the bumper's on, it's chrome. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change that right now. Refer back to my chrome delete video if you wanna see how I deleted the chrome originally on the truck. There's a couple different ways. Vinyl wrap it, buy the plastic one from Toyota and get it painted with all the brackets, and put it on there. Or there's some bumper shells you can get. I've seen some on Amazon and I've seen some actually called bumper sh shells, I believe, with a Z, and they actually just snap on there. So right now, we're just gonna run the chrome because the car has been driving with a busted bumper for several months. So I'm just gonna drive it like this for now. But first, we need to wash it because this thing is filthy. Three bucket method. One for the wheels, one for the body, and one for fresh water. I always start with wheels first. bumper's on, it's all put back together, the spacers are on it, and I'm gonna show you how those spacers look with the fitment of the bumper in just a second, but first, I wanna show you something that's been bugging me for a long time, and I think I found a fix. These plastic centerpieces of the bumper, right here, they get so weathered and so faded so quickly. You see how it's just white? It just looks terrible. I mean, next to the paint, here's the painted grill. Here is the faded plastic. Now this one is secondhand. My first one was even worse. The last coat, Sarah trim. This is a trim, I don't know, restorer, some kind of ceramic trim greatness. I mean, 30 bucks, it's kind of expensive, but I give it a rating of bomb.com because it's easy to apply. All you do is clean, really good first, degrease it, use a little alcohol, not the kind you drink, and then apply this and buff it off. I've used it on the Subaru before. I'm really happy. Let's use it on the Tundra. Just a little dab will do ya. Rub it in. Once you do it all, you soak it in for a little bit. You can use the other side of the microfiber sponge or buff it off with your own. Then you just sit back and smile. Tell me you can't see a difference. Obviously that side is coated and this side is not. If you don't think that looks better than that, I'm sorry, we cannot be friends. That is amazing, that is not. Let me put it in the sun. These have also been coated. This one has not been coated. Check back with you in a few months. Now that the bumper is installed with those cheap half inch spacer nuts that I put on, you can see there is a little bit of difference here between where the body line should be and where it is now on the bumper. It really doesn't make much of a difference, but you can see here on the front that it actually pushes the bumper out, well obviously the same amount that the nuts are thick, but I kind of like it. It gives the front end a little bit more depth. It actually comes out, has a little bit of a step to it. It's not just a flat front end like it was stock. So I'm kind of into it. I do have future plans for the Tundra, but I can't do it without your help. My last video for the Tundra had about 50,000 views, but I only have about 13 or 1400 subscribers. So please, if you watch the video and if you like it and you enjoy it, you want to see more Subaru or Tundra videos, please subscribe. Also hit the thumbs up down below. All this helps the channel. I would like to see the Tundra as the ultimate pre-runner, family hauler, 
mall crawler, long travel, just full on build, but I can't do it without your help. So please subscribe, hit the thumbs up down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.